So into our previous video, we have seen how we can create an additional disk and attach that disk to our virtual machines. So we have enough space to store the data into your virtual machine. But what if, if I want to provide a storage to my user and directly access those particular storage? So this kind of permission we can allocate only if we have a different storage allocated for them. So how we are going to allocate the storage? So here we are going to see about your Azure storages, which is available over here. So if we talk about your Azure storage, they have a different flexibility and you have a different advantage of using your Azure storage. Very first, you have different kind of storages that we are going to discuss which kind of storage generally we have. Next is scalability. Now you can scale the storage type we generally have. You can scale it to a number of limits. So you don't have any certain limitation for using this particular storage. You can extend as much as you require. The next we have that is lower cost. As we know, if you are using the actual storage infrastructure, you have to pay a lot for maintaining and creating those particular infrastructure. But if you are using or you know hiring the infrastructure or the storages from your Azure, you have to pay very less amount and you have to pay only for the space you are going to use. Hence, it is called as pay only for what you need. Next, again, if I talk about the default disk or the base default storages which are available to store the data are of three types. One is your OS disk or the temporary disk we generally have into your VM machines. So when you create your virtual machine, you generally get this kind of standard disk. Next we have that is data disk. As we have discussed into our previous video, we can create a new disk and we can add this disk to your virtual machine so you can store the data. So it is only for storing your data onto your disk. Next we have that is standard and premium kind of disk. So as we know, the data disk we generally create, you might have seen the option, two type of the option we have, that is standard and your premium. So what is the difference between your standard disk and your premium disk that we are going to see here? If you talk about your standard disk, standard disk are the general disk we generally use. It is for you know, storing the common amount of data or you know, the general purpose data which generally we have. It can be only so used for your developers and your testers to store the data and test over there. This standard does provide you, uh, you know, only for storing the data. They don't have a huge capacity to store the data and low reliability. But again, if I talk about the premium disk, so premium disk, you need to pay extra for using this particular premium disk and this premium disk are generally SSD based while the standard disk is SSD based. So here we are going to talk about your SSD based disk, which provides you a high performance to store the data, their rate of uh, transferring data is again high as compared to your standard disk as well as you can use this particular disk into your production environment. So here in this particular video, we are going to see how we can use the standard disk and how we can use this premium disk and attach to your system. So let us begin to your Azure portal here. So we are on our portal now. Now we have already created a number of disks. We have seen how we can attach this disk to our virtual machines. But what if I want to create a storage which will be, you know, shared among all the resources or different resources we are going to create into our system and those particular resources will be storing the data into this particular storage. So I can create our own common storage here. So let us see from where we can create the storage. So we'll navigate to the left hand side and here you get the storage account option. Click on it. Here you find two different storages which you haven't created. So this storage is are those storage which automatically gets created. So here one storage you can see it is showing you the resource group is your cloud shell. So when I started my cloud shell that time uh, this storage was you know created because before without using this particular storage you won't be able to start your cloud shell. And there is very minimum charges to use this storage. If suppose I no more want to use my cloud shell, I can even delete this particular storage. We can. So just you need to confirm here. Yes. And delete it. So it will be deleted. Same with this is a storage uh, which was created uh, along with my virtual machine while I was creating the virtual machine. So this is the storage. I want to keep the storage as of now. And if I want to use this storage with other virtual machines also, we can. 
we can use the storage and we can store the data of your virtual machine into this particular storage so as of now I'm going to show you how you can create your own storage account here so for that I'm going to add the storage here and once you add this particular storage it's showing you the wizard from where you can add the storage I'm going to define the name of my storage as Azure uh, storage one okay and uh, it's asking you whether you want to deploy it to your okay uh, we need to define some different name is it is already taken okay so this is the storage I'm going to create or you can use only story okay so it's showing you that uh, while you're creating the storage account so ensure that you are containing all in small case okay so uh, all is in small case now now whether you want to deploy this into your resource manager or your classic so I'll be using the resource manager and the account kind whether you want to create it as for a general purpose or as a blob storage so we have already discussed about the blob storage right so here I want for a general purpose performance do you want the standard one or your premium one we have also discussed about this if you use the premium one it will be chargeable the standard one is uh, you know 200 around rupees is free for you as of now as you are using a free account and here you can see the subscription is a free trial a resource group I am going to use the existing one that is my RG3 okay and um, then I'm going to create a virtual network if you want to use it you can use it I'm going to enable the virtual network as well actually it does not require but since if you are going to connect the storage via your network so you can use this so I'm going to use our vnet3 here and the subnet I'm going to use into your vnet3 which I have that is my subnet3 okay this is only the subnet I have into your vnet3 so I'll be using it okay and then you can pin it to dashboard and then you can create the storage and you also find an automation option here this I'll show you while creating your storage uh, if I'm creating a new storage here and below you can find the automation option okay so there is an error okay I need to define the name demo for storage I'll define such a name like it has not been taken okay what else okay we need to use the existing one I'll use RG3 here okay so you can see here it is showing you uh, whether you want to create a template or whether you want to use this particular storage and you want to define some scripts into it you can also go for defining the scripts and this is the complete parameter script we have for this particular storage now in future for example if you want to create the storage uh, in, or use the storage or program your applications where it creates a storage you can copy this content change the values like uh, you want to change the value for your uh, storage name right so you can define the storage name which kind of storage you want to enable we can enable it and you can deploy this particular storage into your application itself so this is template generally you have you can also use the parameters these are the parameters so it is created in your east us and this is the value you can you know change the value of uh, your system or you change the value of your uh, you know the storage which you are going to add with your application so you can also fetch a different value like if you want to fetch some values which you have stored into variable or you want to get access to your uh, virtual name or virtual machine name and then you can you can change it as you require same way into CLI this is how generally um, you define the storage and this is how generally you get this particular you know uh, storage over here that's showing you same way partial and dot net as well as your ruby so this is a template which you have so if you want to download this you can download this or if you want to deploy this uh, somewhere so you can also deploy this here. so right now we are going to deploy this so this has been deployed and you can see the template has been getting created if you want to edit this template you can collect the parameters of this so you can save it 
and if you want you need to purchase this so as of now I don't want to so I'm just going to close this so this is what the advanced option generally you have into your storage so you can automate your uh, script creation or you know storage creations into your programs into your applications okay so let us begin here we have created our resource group into your resource group we have created into resource group rg3 we have created one storage here ttb1 storage right so this is a storage which we have created you can also keep your blob your files your queues your table formats of data if you want to move your blobs services you can see the information about the blob so right now you do not have access uh, please contact your owner because we have created it so I'll just need to define the permissions to it same way we have files so it file shares that use SMB protocol and object store for understanding the data the tabular format data we can store over here you can scale the application depending upon the traffic into the queues so this is the storage is generally we have so while you are uploading the data into the storage you need to define which kind of storage you require right so this is the storage and it will also show you the metric if you started using this particular storage you can also profile or deploy this access keys or this particular storage to someone and you can also define the access keys for the storage so you need to define the key you can create your own key and you can share the storage with someone right so you just need to uh, you know create this particular key which has been created you need to copy and provide this key to your end user and then you will be able to access the storage directly you can also encrypt this particular data you can also define the metrics for it and here is the file services generally we have individually we can access from here either from the uh, storage dashboard right now we don't have access so into our next session we are generally going to see our next session or coming session we'll be seeing how we can authorize our users and how we can provide the control over this particular storages how we can define the rules for it so as of now we have seen how we can create the storages into your system how we can deploy this particular storages and uh, we can create this we have already created the storage you can attach the storage into the virtual machines if you create or if you create any resources if they require storage external storage you can add the storage as well so here we have completed about the storages into next video I'm going to talk about your snapshot of the disk so what a snapshot you can get the information into our next video